Hi everyone, this is a great song to play and practice independent thumb. And the song is called The Cake and it's from the early 70s from a children's program. So what I've been doing here is to translating the piano, it's in original it's in piano. And so what I'm doing is to translating it to guitar and for you to practice the independent thumb. And so I will play it through. And while I'm playing, you can pay attention to what the thumb is doing, what the other fingers are doing. And so, what I was doing there, I will go through you step by step what is done. So, as you maybe noticed, the thumb is playing the bass part, alternating bass. And that is a general thing, a general rule that you can apply whenever when you are playing. That the thumb is doing the bass part, the three bass strings, and the fingers are doing the melody part and the voice is up here. So the per first part is quite simple, everything is on the beat. And I'm doing the melody with these two finger, middle finger and index for now. Middle, index. Now the next bar, I come here, the chord is B7 that goes to E minor. other or on every. Or and then to the next part. And there you can also choose if you want to do every or every other. you can do then you will get a nice motion there or you can do however you want it just so you make sure you do every other and then we go to an A chord which I'm holding those two middle fingers with my left index finger together as a bar chord, sort of like that. And then I'm doing simply a scale down from D to G. That is a nice way of coming from the dominant chord back to the root chord. To the tonic. And a rhythmical variation. A melody variation with a rhythmic variation. And then...
can do double with the thumb with middle index thumb thumb or start with your ring finger. And so when you practice this you can split it up that you practice the thumb part first and when you're playing and practicing the thumb part you can think and sing the melody while you're doing it especially on those places where it's not rhythmical on the beat for example that part but if we start here set for a couple of times and then go and you can split it up and do bits that I wanted to mention that if you want to have more of a rhythmical element and a so-called boom, boom chick bass like this percussive element to the song. Another way of doing the boom chick bass if you don't want to have the thumb here is to simply do it with your left hand. Then you would lift the fingers a bit up every time after each. And if you're gonna do it with this song it can be quite tricky. it could be maybe preferable in this particular circumstance to do with the flesh go back with the thumb and make sure to practice it independently as I said and also take it slowly in the beginning and gradually you can increase the pace the music sheet and tab is also to find for this song and there you also find the instructions and variations Good luck.